Hi there, and welcome again to Lore of the Cards, the series that uncovers the lore behind your Hearthstone deck. Today we are returning to the halls of Naxxramas. Last time we were scuttling through the Arachnid Quarter, and this time we'll be wading our way through the filth of the Plague Quarter, finding out more about the challenges you'll face. If you want a quick summary of all wings, I've linked a Blizzard article in the description below. I'll be looking to go into a bit more depth where I can. Before the Lich King, ruler of the undead, launched his invasion on the Kingdom of Lordaeron, he sent out a telepathic summon to strong and gifted individuals that may wish to join his forces. While the Lich King did look to plunge the world of Azeroth into a decaying wasteland, those that joined him would be given a very enticing reward. Power. One of those summoned would become the Lich King's most devoted servant, Naxxramas' final boss, Kel'Thuzad. But it was not only he that heard the summons of the Lich King. Noth the Plaguebringer, presumably a title gifted to him after joining the Lich King, also heeded the call. Like Kel'Thuzad, he was a mage of Dalaran, and he joined his colleague in the Lich King's service. Dalaran is a city-state ruled over by some of the most powerful Archmages in Azeroth. In fact, its current leader is Jaina Proudmoore. Way back in the history of Azeroth, one of the dominant empires was that of the Trolls. At this time, the Human Kingdom was split into various small tribes. Concerned by the massive and aggressive Troll Empire, the Arath tribe took action, uniting the rest of the rival human tribes through combat and politics. Now under one banner, the humans built their capital of Strom. The Empire of Arathor was born. The High Elves had been fighting tooth and nail with the Trolls, but the Trolls were looking like they were going to defeat the Elves. The High Elves called out to the Empire of Arathor. The humans responded, pushing back the Trolls. In exchange, the Elves taught 100 humans the ways of wielding the Arcane, as humans had not been able to wield magic previously. After the Trolls' defeat, the mages grew weary of life in Strom, and left to found their own kingdom of Dalaran. This way, they could study and practice their newfound skills as much as they pleased. Later, Dalaran would become a hub for all mages of all races to practice their techniques, after previously being an alliance-only city. That was until Jaina became leader, and the volatile politics between Alliance and Horde saw the city fall on the side of Alliance once again. Through study, the mages became extremely powerful. Some, like Noth, enjoyed this dose of power and craved more. This is what made it so easy for Noth to side with the Lich King, abandoning all he once held dear in the pursuit of this power. Noth soon proved himself as a great ally to the Lich King. He created a process of distilling the souls of the living and placing them within a corpse. This means that most skeletons in the Lich King's army are likely due to Noth's research. In the halls of Naxxramas, Noth seeks to further perfect his technique. This is why in Hearthstone, Noth is able to bring his defeated minions back as skeletons. Rise, my soldiers! Rise and fight once more! Despite craving power, Noth had not lost his humanity. Over the course of the Third War between the Scourge and Lordaeron, Noth became painfully aware that the Scourge had taken many an innocent life to feed the unrelenting war machine. As a result, Noth began to second-guess his decision to leave Dalaran with Kel'Thuzad to aid the Lich King. Kel'Thuzad soon put an end to Noth's compassion, freezing the mage's still beating heart within his chest. The now unfeeling Noth more dead than living, serves the Lich King without question, using his powerful necromantic skills and understanding of curses to further his master's goals. When the power of Naxxramas was first defeated, Noth, like many of his colleagues, did not perish. He would later be found helping new Death Knights understand the use of Plague Cauldrons in a siege against New Avalon, a city held by the Scarlet Crusade. The Crusade were a group of extremists that would stop at nothing to obliterate all undead. Now, Death Knight, a brief lesson in Plague Cauldrons. 
The gas that the cauldron emits is deadly to the living, but it powers the scourge. As with all scourge creations, it feeds off death and grows stronger the longer it feeds. Despite being able to create plague cauldrons, this tool of the scourge was not thought of by Noth. They were first devised by a fellow necromancer and plague quarter denizen, Hygen the Unclean. It is Hygen who is at the very centre of the Curse of Naxxramas artwork. Hygen's cauldrons were utterly devastating tools. Not only did they corrupt humans, turning them into willing slaves of the Lich King, the cauldrons also corrupted all that surrounded them, the very land itself, plant life and wildlife. This corrupted land became known as the Plague Lands, and the soldiers of the Scourge thrived in these dead areas. Within his chamber in Naxxramas, Hygen has rigged the room with his now infamous trap. In World of Warcraft, players would have to dance round his room as deadly slime erupted from the floor of Hygen's chamber. To touch this ichor would mean certain death. This is presented in Hearthstone through Hygen's hero power, the player having to watch which card they put on the far left or risk losing a key minion. Like in WoW, his fight is all about positioning. Noth and Hygen are clearly not friends. If Death Knights inquired as to where Hygen was during the siege on New Avalon, Noth didn't have a pleasant thing to say about his fellow necromancer, either mocking Hygen's use of traps, Hygen is probably performing maintenance on his slime and crap filled dance studio, or being enraged by the very mention of his name. How dare you! Get out of my sight! Hygen's plague-filled cauldrons also helped spawn one of the most imposing beings found within the Plague Quarter, the plague-ridden bog beast, Lotheb. Bog beasts are large plant creatures, often found in temperate marshes. Unlike most sentient beings in Azeroth, they reproduce using seeds. The beasts may in fact be a form of combined elemental, as they show elements of earth and water. Being infused with the plague has given Lotheb great power, being able to stop the use of magic used for healing purposes in his presence. In Hearthstone, this is presented in his card design, but unlike in WoW, Lotheb makes it difficult to use all spells when he is brought into play. Lotheb's hero ability also makes the priest's hero power next to useless when being used on the hero. During the fight in World of Warcraft, Lotheb creates spores that attack the raid. Luckily, when killed, the haze left behind by the spore empowers the adventurer to do more damage. Is this a mechanic we'll see in Hearthstone? Would certainly help for the heroic mode to get through Lotheb's massive 99 HP pool. Another day, another win. I really hope you have enjoyed this further look into the history of Naxxramas and its inhabitants. If you want to help out the channel, like, subscribe and share this video around. If there's anything that you're still left wondering about, just ask me in the comments below. Next time, the military quarter will get the Law of the Cards treatment. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck with the Plague Quarter.